Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and views from around the internet. The rising American heavyweight prospect Jared Anderson, who's currently 13-0, is set to face the undefeated George Arias, currently 18-0, on the 8th of April. And this will be on the Stevenson and Yoshino undercard as the co-feature. So this has been reported and confirmed by a number of media outlets, Boxing Scene and Dan Raphael among them. So there's a few things to cover with this fight because on the face of it, you go, okay, Jared Jared Anderson, he's uh, just come off a career best win against Jerry Forrest, who's fought at a pretty good level. He had draws with Michael Hunter and Zhang Jilei, who we know have had good performances at sort of contender level or fringe contender level in some cases. But it looks like it's a step up. But actually, I think when you look at this fight, it's, to me at least, it looks like relatively careful matchmaking. And in part, I think it is also because they announced this card, this date that he'd be fighting, and he didn't have an opponent. And there was talk that there could be Johnny Rice who could face him, but ultimately Rice has not taken this fight. But George Arias uh, has uh, stepped up to the plate here. He's 18-0. and 0. He's a guy who's been sort of working in relative obscurity for some time. He is a Lou DiBella promoted fighter. His uh, best career win is against Cassius Cheney. That was, what, roughly a year or so ago. And I think many observers of that Cheney and um, Arias fight would agree with me when I say that Cheney let that one go because he didn't throw enough punches. He had the height, the reach. He just got outworked by George Arias. So Arias is a guy who comes into this with height and reach disadvantages and also You've got Jared Anderson, who's the much bigger puncher. So to me, this looks like careful matchmaking in some regards as well. And actually, it could be a slight step down, I would say, from the Jerry Forrest fight. And I know some people might go, well, hang on. Jerry Forrest has half a dozen losses or seven losses at the time that he fought Anderson. But you also have to remember, Forrest has basically been having all fringe um, contender level or contender level fights in the past few years. He fought Michael Hunter, Zhang Jilei. He got draws. He'd also fought against Kubrat Pulev, Carlos Dukan, some others, and he didn't disgrace himself. He'd been fighting at a contender level for the most part and been basically having good results or, you know, in a loss, he had a credible performance. Whereas George Arias, has, while he's undefeated, has been fighting at a lower level. Cassius Cheney is probably would lose to most of the guys that I just mentioned. And George Arias as well, if he was to have fights with some of those contenders, would probably also lose. So on the face of it, even though there's an O on the line here for Jared Anderson to take, Arias hasn't fought at the same level. And I think from what I've seen of George Arias, I think he certainly is beatable. And I think Jaron Anderson has all the advantages heading into this one. They've probably had to pay over the odds to some degree to get Arias to sign on. But for Arias too, it's an opportunity. Like I say, he's been plotting away in obscurity. For the most part, not giving the, getting the sort of level fights he needs and to, you know, to get himself to, towards that world level. He's been sort of uh, hanging around on the fringe and not really being able to break through. That Cheney fight, that Cheney win, should have been something that propelled him onto something a bit bigger and better. Instead, the next fight he was against Atlantic Green, who was 10-0-1 uh, at that point, and he got a split decision in an eight-rounder. So I think that um, Arias is right for the picking here for Anderson. I think this is careful matchmaking, which is designed to, you know, at least psychologically for some fans who see it's an undefeated fighter, they'll go, oh, well, he was undefeated. No one had beaten him. He's the best one of his career to date. Where actually probably the Forest win is so far and will remain to be even after this fight. I think Jared Anderson, he goes in there. He's aggressive. He uses the height and the reach. And eventually he stops George Arias maybe six to seven rounds. I think Arias is durable. 
but I do think Anderson's going to put him into a shell a little bit. And because Arias doesn't crack, uh, you know, to the same degree that Anderson does and other fighters, I don't think he's going to be too worried about what's coming back at him. But in the same breath, you also have to go, one of the things that Anderson has to work on and has been a comment um, in recent fights through his aggressive style is he's been getting hit a lot and maybe hit more than he should, that he needs to tighten up. But I do think there's also an element of he doesn't rate some of these guys, that he thinks he's better than them, and he wants to walk through them, their shots, and basically put them on the canvas and get them out of there. So I I think there's an element of that, but also... At some point, if he doesn't respect his opponents and he you know, gets caught with something that he didn't expect, it could all come a cropper. So Anderson, I think, has to go in there with a degree of respect for Arias, but I think he needs to show us, uh, put on a performance, not just trying to blast the guy out of there, but use his advantages. Use the height and the reach. Try to break him down. He's got a good jab. He's uh, got all the shots in the book. You know, put combinations together put your punches together and break them down and take them out of there because just trying to blast a guy out of there at a certain level you know that's only going to take you so far at the end of the day you do have to work through the gears break a guy down and get him out of there as well once you start going up it's a good opportunity for him to show his wares and do that although in saying that anderson is capable if he lands something of taking arius out so you can probably you know sort of gather from what i'm saying You know, this fight is okay, but it is more of the same for Anderson. It kind of is, to to some degree, in my view, a bit of a holding fight. Bob Arum, his promoter, has talked about he wants to build him in bigger fights and get him towards a heavyweight title either this year or next year. This fight sort of just is a marker for, to some degree, you know, he gets more in-ring experience at a certain level where if he makes mistakes, he can probably recover from them and still get the win and look good in doing so. So I think it could be onwards and upwards after this, but I think this just is what it is for this point. And he gets the, at least in casual fans' minds, it looks like it's a step up to some degree because the guy's unbeaten. Although I do think Jerry Forrest is a tougher fight than George Arias. But I don't mind it. And Jared Anderson should advance to 14-0. But he's going to have to, I think, just tighten up on that defense a little bit. Show us his wares. What do you make of it? What do you make of the fight? Do you give Arias a shot at all? I'm not so sure that he's really a guy to trouble Anderson. But let me know. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.